Hello, for USCFSales.com, I'm Steve Lopez with another Chess Base 11 how to video. I do get emails, I do get phone calls, I do get contacted on the internet, I'm not hard to find, and I do get comments and criticisms and suggestions about these videos. One of the things I've found so far is that advanced users of Chess Base are feeling a little bit left out after a whole bunch of videos on how to do surges. There were some advanced tips in, in those videos, but overall it was the basic search functions of chess base. So today we're going to do something a little bit more advanced. This is for the advanced users, but the cool part is that new users can use this feature as well, this procedure as well, as long as they know what they're doing. Let me show you what's going on. Last week, you'll recall in our last video, we created a database. We got tired of doing searches for the same thing over and over and over again. Every day I was going in doing searches for recent games on the Karocon Advanced Variation, got tired of doing them over and over and over again. So I created a new database and copied the games into it so I don't have to keep doing that search. If you haven't watched last week's video yet, please do go back and watch it and I'll show you how to do that. But here's something we can do with our new database that we've created, the Caracon Advanced Database that I created in last week's video. Double click on it. Here's our game list. And of course, there's a bunch of tabs at the top. We click on openings because we want to see an opening key for the Caracon Advance. Whoops. There isn't one. There's no key to this database. There's no index of openings. Now, we can go in and search by position if we know a particular variation we want to look for. Sure, no problem. We can do that. But we don't have a shortcut. We don't have an index of the various variations of the Karocon Advance. So how do we create an opening key? Well, you can write one yourself, and it'll take you forever. There's a shortcut if you have Mega Database 2011. I'm going to show you how to do this. It's pretty cool. First thing you want to do, <coughs> excuse me, is install an empty key. You've got four choices here. You're not going to select a key because we don't have a key file just on the Karocon Advance. So you don't want to do that. And you don't want to install the big key or the small key because that'll give you all the ECO codes. We don't want that either. We're just going to create an empty key. We're going to lay the groundwork for what we do next. Let me show you what we're going to do. Install empty key, click on it, and bingo! It happens very, really quick, but what you have is no games found. It's an empty key. There's no classifications. There's no indexes in this index. So what we need to do is close this. We need to go to Mega Database 2001. And we'll double click on it to open it. And we're going to go to the opening key in Mega Database, the super key by Joaquin Junka, as you see here at the top. Now we need to take a detour. Once you get to the opening key in the Mega Database, what you want to do now is, and, and this is what throws a few people when you try to do this thing, what you want to do now is this. Go back down to your Windows taskbar at the bottom of the screen and click on the database desktop again. Single click on your target unkeyed database, the one we created last week, the Car in this case the Caracon Advanced Database. Just single click on it to highlight it, then go back down to the Windows taskbar and go back to Mega Database's opening key. You have to do this in this order or you're going to mess stuff up. Let me show you what you do next. By the way, you may want to go back at the end of this video and watch it again just to review the steps. I happen to know from years of experience of playing the Karocon Advance that the ECO code is B12, B as in boy 12. However, we showed you in a previous video how to find openings using the super key, so you could do this yourself for any opening. Click on the plus sign next to B10 to B19. Now we have some B12s here. We have a couple different ones, uh, but this is the one we want right here. If you'll remember last week, I told you I was going to be playing this from the black standpoint and that I was going to play bishop f5 every time I encountered the Karakon advance. I click once on this line, on this key to highlight it, and then I right click one time and I get a bunch of different options. One of them is transfer key, and that's the command you're going to want to use. Now this is the reason why we went back and highlighted the Caracon Advanced Database, because when you click Transfer Key, what that does, it's going to copy a portion of the super key over to the other database. So we click Transfer Key, and look what we see, Transfer to Caracon Advanced. 
the transfer will always default to whatever database is highlighted in the database desktop. That's why we had to go back and highlight Caracon Advanced Database. The transfer will always default to whatever database is highlighted in this view. That's why you have to go back and make sure that the correct database is highlighted. So we'll return to the key, transfer to Caracon Advanced. That's exactly where we want this key to go. So we click OK. Wait a few seconds. You see the mouse cursor turns into a little spinning wheel here. You have to wait a few moments, and then it's done. You'll see your mouse cursor changes back to an arrow. At this point, you can just close Mega Database, go back to the database desktop, double click on Caracon Advance, click on Openings, and there's the key. Instead of being empty, we now have a key. Unfortunately, we still don't have any games indexed yet. Notice over here, all the keys have zero games. So how do we sort the games into the correct key? Well, we just come up here and we're looking for a command. Under Opening Keys, under this menu, Opening Keys at the top, go to Classification, there's a button that says Classify All Keys. That will classify every key, reclassify, resort games in every key attached to that database. Click on that button. Notice that we don't have keys for themes, tactics, strategy, and end games, just for openings. That's fine. That's what we want. We click OK, and we have to wait a few seconds. But then, and I mean it's quick, it took about two seconds, it's done, and over 6,000 games have now been classified into various keys, which of course if we're interested in a particular variation, we can click on a button, expand the view, click on the little plus size to expand the view, see a bunch of games, and then when we click on a particular key, we get games down here. All the games that are sorted, all six games sorted into this particular key are here. Uh, we can scroll down a little bit farther. There's 10 games in this key. There's 16 in this one. And they'll always be listed down here at the bottom. And to replay any of these games, I can simply double click, wait a moment for it to load, and here's our game. It's that simple. It's kind of an advanced technique. It's not something you're going to use all the time, probably, but it's a real handy thing to do, and that's why I wanted to show it to you. But it's an easy thing to mess up, so go back and watch this video another time to make sure you know exactly how to do it and why we did it the way we did it. Watch it again, and you'll be able to transfer keys. You'll be able to take a piece of, a, of the, the super key, the huge key that comes with Mega Database, and apply it to any other database on a specific opening that you created. Until next time, for USCFSales.com, I'm Steve Lopez. Thanks for watching.